hello beautiful people listening to Roma. welcome to the channel so today we're going to be checking this video and it's titled attention seeker megan plotted to upstage princess cat princess kate's return an hour before real parade is this real hmm interesting i'm excited to check this one out here what you got to see let's check it out the royal biographer angela levin angela wow Hello. it's been busy hasn't it today Talk yes. me through, tripping of the color it was absolutely amazing i i cried oh, <laughs> cracking up before we even start i mean to see king charles to be so brave so strong and you can see sometimes i think it's his stomach hurt or he just moved himself he didn't seem very comfortable but he was there and he was going to go through it all and the rain poured down mm. and he had a tiny little table and a um, place to sit and i just thought you know he's the most wonderful man he he cares more about us and the people who they're serving him um, than ever. And then, you know, you have as an extra, extra bonus is Princess Catherine, who looked absolutely stunning. stunning. She did look very, very slim, though, yeah. but she looked beautiful in that outfit. And um, Princess Charlotte sort of went with it very well. But, um, I thought Catherine was again, she was there because she's um, involved with the um, people, the, the army who were taking the uh, flag. And secondly, that it's a family event. And I was thinking before, who would sit with the three children? Because mm. it's always her. And how would, it wouldn't work because William would be, is on the horse. And I thought she's doing that for the family. And she looked stunning. I thought, what an amazing woman that she actually puts other people before her own wishes. Mm. And um, but little Charlotte is an extraordinary child. When they were coming back, she was wiping the windows so that everyone could see with her hand, oh, getting well, rid of the rain. Nice, She's she? fantastic. And then she was waving both sides. She was, having, <laughs> she was having a great time. And she looked after Louis. She told him off when he was doing a little jig at one point. <laughs> and when he wasn't sitting properly and she kept but this is such a delightful moment beautiful to see i bet you lots of people did not see this coming aside the fact that um princess catherine already made made, made a statement went about her appearing um being at the tripping the color or making attendance uh, attending the tripping the color but people still wanted to see her and it was such a delightful moment and i hope this just satisfied people's curiosity who thought the worst had happened and all of that but regardless let's just stay positive and focus on the positive because it was beautiful to see princess catherine ah of course yeah she looked so slim and all but i mean with the health issues and all of that i think when she's made full recovery and all of that she will be in her best self being her best um shape and all of that but regardless this was so beautiful to see regardless and yo it was just a beautiful moment and the fact that she considered uh, also spending and taking time to attend family function regardless is such a beautiful just goes to tell you the kind of person she is and why people love her and people loved to see her or wish to see her and it was a good thing that she graced the occasion or graced the function regardless but let's go on sitting properly and she kept c calling him to order and it was absolutely hilarious and i think she was doing that for, on her mother's behalf so Aww, that her mother can be there her. um and she adores her mother so she just really wants wants to help out mm -hmm. and george is fine he just sat there but i thought it was it was very moving to see them yeah. as a family again what was interesting on the balcony was that it wasn't a big um a load of royals mm. there no eugenie no anyone like that and um there were nine and three children which is very small but i thought that that's probably because they don't want to get too close to too yeah. many people because um catherine and charles are too vulnerable um and they would be there and it was just lovely to see them actually mm. again 
there, but it, they decided not to have. Some people thought it would be everybody. I thought he would have a lot more people there, um, but they didn't, and that was fine. And the other thing that actually got my heart was that Prince William and Princess Anne and Prince, Prince Edward were getting completely drenched. They were on their horses. They had to go back after the... Um, festivities were over and again they were doing that because that's what royal you do yeah, yeah. and I thought we're jolly lucky in this country to have a royal family who will put themselves out mm. like that and really do their very best yeah. for the nation and how, how brilliantly all the military were every second it was absolutely right and nobody would put a foot wrong very very amazing very moving very moving indeed. Mm -hmm. I've got to say, it was lovely, wasn't it? it was. Yes. And all the pomp and ceremony. No one does it better than us. No, nobody ever does. And that's why our um, royal family is the one that's most popular. And I do have to say, and just a couple of words, that Meghan introduced some raspberry jam and some dog's biscuits just an hour before. <laughs> Don't laugh. An <laughs> hour before. Well, yes, but the so sweeping of the colour. <clears throat> um, I mean, can you imagine that the the desire to be of n noticed and to always but do, do you something? Think so? Because I, you know what, though, this is maybe the timing, and it timed in with this. If it were me and I was marketing, I'd probably not do it at the same time. I'd actually think that that probably wouldn't be as wise to time it then. Seems an odd thing. I think I'd probably... Because obviously the world is looking at the tripping of the colour, aren't they? Yeah. Yes, but if you go back, it's always just before a big event uh, because she wants the attention. I don't think she works it out that other people would do it. I think she works it out that they will all look at me. I just want to tell you about one amazing lady. Very, very briefly. Yeah, very briefly. You've got about 15 yeah. seconds. Her name, Baroness Eliza Manningham Buller. She's going to be the first... Um, Chancellor of the Order of the Garter, which will be uh, uh, on Monday, um, and the first female since 1475 oh. to be made Chancellor of the Order of Garter. Well She's done. 75, oh, and I her. think that's very good. She uh, ran the MI5, and she's now doing that. And so congratulations. Well done to her. And to wow, beautiful. This is just a beautiful moment to see the royal family and the parade and everything was just so beautiful i bet you lots of people were eager to see this and they did but again <laughs> i just want to believe that that wasn't true about megan do you think it was any part of it was true because is uh, i mean at this point i don't know but again regardless it was beautiful it was beautiful to see that the royal family cherished this moment and above all was lovely to see but again it's a good thing princess catherine was able to make it and grace the occasion or grace the family function regardless and now i hope it's already satisfied people's curiosity especially those who were eager to know what's going on or what's happened with her and above all i always say this that people should respect the royal family and give them their privacy regardless when there is need for any other public statement they will and yeah um i don't think this also means that the princess of wales is um officially resumed for uh, um, official duties or function uh, functions and stuff but again when there is need for her i think she will make public appearances regardless but it's a good thing to see though i can't even imagine what um, must be going through uh, prince harry and megan uh, megan Markle's minds for not being able to attend this i mean they or they made their bed so they may also as well lay on it but let me know what you think about this i'm sure tons of people have interesting things to share I would really love to share that. You can share the useful information you think might be really helpful. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and all of that stuff. And until next time, see you in the next video.